made it. We're in Texas. Halfway there, actually. Mike? No, Mike. You're Mike. I'm Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Santa. Mike. Santa. <laughs> Since we're all going to South Carolina for the Kayak Bass Championship. A.K.A. the Kayak Classic. Top 10 actually gets to go on the Bassmaster Classic mm -hmm. stage, which, I mean, that's crazy. That's so cool. It's a once in a lifetime. Yeah. yeah. Making our way to this tournament flying, and we got lucky that uh, Sierra Nevada was able to ship all of our gear out there, so we didn't have to make a 40-hour drive. Here we are, folks. See, we're here, you guys, in North Carolina. South. We're close. Sweet Carolina. God, I miss that voice. <laughs> oh, that's uh, better than the usual U-Haul truck. It's way better than the oral nice. airplane. 216, that's it. Terrence, how's it going back here, oh, buddy? It's going good. I'm ready to check out our digs. There's your flip-flops, Greg. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's pretty sweet. Lake's right out that door. There they are. Oh, I don't know. I got so much stuff that I should be doing instead of fishing, but yeah, let's just go fishing, dude. I'm ready. This is basically what we come. We don't come just to eat food and drink beer and hey. stuff. Excited little boy. I feel like this lake potentially could give us a clue for fishing Russell tomorrow. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at that. Good job, dude. Welcome. Thanks, buddy. Got one. Cranking. Oh, I came off. It was a spot. I wouldn't mind cranking all day. Did we learn anything? Yes. We learned Hartwell's way better than Chassa. 43 minutes to our first spot, Michael. This place is beautiful. What a pretty morning. There we go. Come on. Little spot. Hey, just like California. Wow, I just got bit and I got broke off. There's a bite right there. You got it. What the heck? I just broke off again. Is it like a freaking turtle or something? Submerged trees, all right. I like that. Giant. Yeah. 16 and a half, maybe? If I can get one more bite, I think we got to get out of here. Taken out. Did not get another bite after that one we caught on the jig. So Terrence is sick? Dry heaving with diarrhea. Hello, Gregory. I got Terrence Pepto Bismol for his butt. Day one of pre fish in the books. Didn't hit the home run today. We didn't even butt. We are on. Fat dude. Back of creeks. Oh, God, no. That's a good one. We got to get out of this creek. Please give me a bite back here. Give me a pattern. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's just go explore new water now. Oh, yeah. There we go in the back of the stuff. These aren't giants, but we'll take the bites. Oh, you saw that one, come get it. He's okay. It looks so much bigger in the water. Our goal is to get as many people in the seats as possible to see the kayak awards over. We're done. What do you mean? The we haven't even fished a tournament. Yet. That's the next video. Oh, but this is like a lot of stuff, man. This is pre-fishing. You're feeling better, Terrence? I'm feeling better. I had a little uh, run in, I don't know. Food run poisoning. out. Yeah, I'm better now. And you guys fished a little better today. No, I think I got a little pattern going on. Mike, you're pre-fished today. Pretty feeble. I went and checked out a little bridge. I'm gonna stay there tomorrow until I catch five. Terrence has got a lovely Italian dinner. Yeah, I did a little meat sauce and you guys a nice base. It's been a good road, a busy road. Bass Kayak Championship. Yeah. Oh, I was dying over here. Excited to eat the dinner, maybe. <laughs> this know. dinner's gonna be great. If we get food poisoning, thanks, Santi. <laughs> next video will just be us in the bathroom. So guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Woo! Well, it is officially tournament day one. Made our way from California to Greenville, picked up our kayaks from the Sierra Nevada Brewery, rigged all our gear up, did a couple days of pre-fish, a lot of miles in between, and those four days went by 
like that. And now we're here. This has been the moment we've been waiting for for a while now. In my opinion, one of the biggest tournaments or opportunities you can have as a kayak angler nowadays, tournament-wise, is this tournament right here. Top 10, you get to go on the Bassmaster Classic stage this Friday. That's just a crazy opportunity as we've talked about. Today, game plan is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Catch a limit. Right, Mike? Limits. Limits. We've said this a million times, but sorry. you can't win it on day one, but you definitely can lose it and you need to catch five on day one to stay in the hunt for day two. Just for some time references right now, it's about 4.15. We got about an hour drive to the ramp. We can launch our boats at 6.15, first cast 6.45, last cast 2.45. All the photos have to be submitted by 3.45. And then we do the same thing tomorrow. And whoever has the 10 longest fish is the kayak bass champion. Predictions? I'm gonna say 90, 90 inches a day to win this one. 180 over two days. I'm gonna say 82 inches a day for top 10. So I gotta catch him. We gotta catch him. We going for it, Mike? Oh yeah. Yep. Remember what you learned at Shasta. Hey, remember what we learned at Shasta. What'd you learn at Shasta? Don't be dumb. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the plan. We'll see. There we go, guys. Day one starts now. So practice for us it was tough on Monday. Only got three bites, pretty random bites for the most part. Tuesday, yesterday, we uh, tried a new part of the lake, which is this part of the lake. And I think around like 10 o'clock, we went all the way to the back of coves. We caught them on the crank bay all the way back. We started jumping around to the backs of coves, drains and creeks. It seemed to be a pattern. Now, I don't think it's gonna happen right now i think the the sun needs to get up i think it needs to get a little warmer i think a lot of that bait's getting pushed up into those parts of the, of the creek and uh, the fish are following and maybe even staging to spawn but i don't know if going back there right now first thing in the morning when it's still kind of cold out is the right choice i think i'm gonna kind of work my way back there with a jig maybe see if we can pick up some bonus fish i don't know just gonna play it by ear today for the most part we got a game plan in mind but we got to be willing to adjust if need be. Yes, number one. Good spot, good spot, good spot. Boom, choked it. Not a giant, but we'll take this one. Seventeen incher, man. That's a good fish to start the tournament. Jig too. Thumped it. Oh yes, one in this creek. Nice. Oh, it made a surge. It's a large mouth. Come on, dude. Oh, it's a spot. It's a 
Lot or largemouth? Oh, another spot. Man, they are back here. Sweet. This is one of the dead ends I didn't even fish yesterday. Oh, beautiful. Not a giant, but we'll take that one. God, right where they were supposed to be, too. Right where he was supposed to be. Thought it would have been a largemouth, but it's okay. It's okay. Another solid one. <sighs> cool. Number two. Oh man, it feels good to have a game plan kind of starting to come together, you know? 7.34, already got two keepers in the boat. Man, we're on pace, guys. That was the pattern yesterday. That was where that fish was supposed to be. All the way in the back. They're eating a crankbait. Got him. Got him out of the tree. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, it's a good one. Came right out of that tree. It's a large mouth. How many hooks? Oh, get out of the tree, get out of the tree. Oh, that's a spot. Yes. Largemouth. That's what we wanted back here. That's what that's what I was thinking we'd be catching. Or what we need to catch to have a chance at some big ones. Solid. Man, just slowly cranking that bait over that tree. And he'd come up and get it. Super close. You know, I don't think I got him to touch. He was so close. <sighs> Number three, though. Another one in the back. Feels like a smaller one, but... Hey, little guy. This is said, uh, uh, no, that's not gonna keep. No way. Right? No way. It's 11. It's another bite, though. Right where they're supposed to be. Fish getting busted on. That was big getting blown up on. Holy smokes. That's what's happening back in these creeks. Good. Come here. Come here. Oh, it's a good one. Come here, dude. There we go. Yes. Man, how lucky is that? We see him bust at the right time to make that cast. I'm gonna tell you what, guys. That's actually a pretty long one. That's why spots could certainly be a factor in this tournament. It's a good lengthy fish. Fifteen seven five. I'm telling you guys, as the sun gets up, this bait just comes up in these creeks, and these fish follow. Should have brought an A rig. Oh my god! I'm gonna tell you, I did not bring an A rig, and I did not bring a topwater. It's okay though. It's okay, I think. Oh, number five. Dude, we got a limit. Yeah, 836 and we got five. Freaking sweet. 
14 and a quarter. Number five, guys. Sweet. Always feels really good to have your limit early on. Man, really couldn't have asked for a better start. We started with a really nice fish, caught some solids, nothing's come off, and we got five and the rest of the day to call. Feels like a better one, I think. Feels like a large mouth. Cause he wants to jump. Oh, it's a good spot. Oh, it is a large mouth. I thought it was a spot. That's why hooks matter right here, guys. Why hooks matter. I think that'll call. It's kind of short and fat. Fifteen five oh, first cull fish. Man, they're loaded up in here. Loaded, loaded, loaded. Well, he's not dead. Had him out of the water for like a second. I think he's just stunned. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, little one. A little pocket. <laughs> Still getting bites. I'll take that. Looks like there should be a big largemouth back here though, right? That tree over there is where we caught a, a decent one yesterday. Actually, two decent ones, but one was probably 16 or so. There's a largemouth. They were both largemouth. I don't know. It's rare that in practice you come back to the same area and catch, like, obviously not the same exact fish, but the same quality. It was like two casts, two fish, off that same spot. You know, we saw them chasing bait over there, too, so that could have been what was happening. But you'd think there's some bait hanging around here still, and there's got to be some bass. There we go. God, that's the same cast. That's a largemouth too. Oh God, it's a big one. Come here, dude. Come here. God, was that the same fish as yesterday? Yes. Man, that's crazy. That same spot. Dude, it's fat. Look how fat that fish is. Sixteen seven five, good call fish right there. Man, I wonder what's up with that spot. Like, why they're sitting there? You know? There we go. Another one off that same spot. What do we got? Golly, what is up with that spot, dude? I don't think this one's that uh, it's a little one. Still, all largemouth, just chunky largemouth. I mean, look how fat that largemouth, dude. That thing is, whoa. I'm not gonna lie, that's like one of the craziest looking largemouth I've ever caught. I've never caught a short one like that, that fat. Look at that thing. That thing's a pit bull. You know, I'm gonna leave the spot. I'm gonna save it for tomorrow. Kinda let them rest, I don't know. We're gonna cover water tonight, like I said, and try to find some new stuff. I mean, everything we've hit so far has worked. This is one spot where we definitely can get bit if we need to, in a pinch, so. We're gonna leave it be. Oh, 
feels like a largey. Uh, it is a largey, but it's not that big. Where are you supposed to be, though? Right? Whoa. did get a bite here yesterday real quick, small spot, and then we left, so I didn't really fish it hardly at all. I'm hoping it's loaded with something. We need like an 18 incher, get us around that 82, 83 mark, I think. Call out a 15 and a half, that would just be money. A lot of wood back here too, so we might need to drag a jig, look for that big bite. a little one a little spot man it's about the size we caught yesterday oh, come on there we go another one oh man just little spots over here it looks like dang it probably a lot of bait back here seeing some marks on the graph Argy? Oh my gosh! I had no idea there were pike here. What? Or pickerel? It's a pickerel. Dude, I had no idea that there were pickerel in here. Wow. We got broke off twice on the same cast the first day of practice. And I was like, is there fish in here with teeth? Like, I didn't think there were pickerel or pike, but that was a pickerel. That's no, no, that was the one. Oh my god, that thing crushed the jig. Oh my god, dude, that fish felt big, man. I mean, I know it's hard to say, that fish felt big. Oh my god, it's the same fish maybe. Another giant. No, not a giant. Good one. Alright, maybe the other one wasn't huge, but there's a better fish, right? Choke the jig. Oh man, I don't know if that's gonna get rid of our 15 and a half. I'll thump this thing. It's not. 15 and a half. Better quality fish though. Man, I got excited. I thought we had the one. Oh, man, that first one still felt bigger. I know it's impossible to say. It could have been a two pounder. Just can't, you just can't know if you don't see it. This is how fish stories start. One fifteen. about an hour and a half left. I see in the distance those signs <laughs> that say, warning, submerged timber fishing area. I was actually on my way to another spot, but I saw this. So we're going for it, man. I think that's my best shot in getting some kicker fishes and dragging a jig through this stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. That's a good one, I think. I saw it flash. I think it's a good one. Mm, man, I haven't had a bite in a while. Uh, I don't think it's gonna call. 
fat one. Dude, look at these fish are weird looking. It's got like a little hump thing. There we go. Come on, please be a big one. It's not. If you want largemouth? Just need bigger largemouth. Pretty sure I found the mother load of crappie. Well, guys, 245. Day one is over. We got to get back to the ramp now and check out Attorney X. You know, we didn't crush him today, but we didn't do too bad. We got our limit. We got our five. 80 and three quarter certainly exceeded our expectations. So I will take it. Other people obviously crushed it, but hey, like I said in the beginning, can't win in the first day, but you definitely can lose it. We didn't lose it. We just have to have a really, really big day tomorrow. But let's head back, guys, and uh, we'll catch up at the house. My plan went to plan. It was crazy. I said I had a pattern yesterday and I stuck to it. I wanted that sun to get up, that water to get warm. I thought those fish would push in the back of the creeks. And I waited because I wanted to fish a jig out deep to start the morning. Got a 17 inch spot and then I made my way into the creeks with a crankbait and caught them pretty good. They were right where they were supposed to be. I just didn't get any uh, big bites. That was what I was missing today was big bites. How about you Mike? Um, I did what I said I was gonna do. I went and fished the, fished bridge. the bridge. Panned out, I got a limit. It wasn't the limit I wanted. I wanted to get like at least 80 inches, but I only got 74 maybe. It worked though. I just kept cycling through them, then went up some creeks. Didn't find them up in the creeks. I think they're too muddy. Kept going back to the bridges. Finally caught a limit. Not too much calling going on. Yeah. I got a nice uh, South Car Carolina pulled pork sandwich. Um, with a Did you get them on Ned Rig? Collard greens. That sounds nice. good. No, I got it with a credit card. Oh. It was easy. Dude, that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna, that that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop shot at American Express or something. <laughs> Come on, bite it. You're an American. I know you don't got the money. Just bite it. Hit it later. You they're, guys, you they're guys did good. The fish were biting. Right? They are biting. You got your limit. Got my limit. We got our limits. And I think we're going back to the same area tomorrow just because we said we're both in areas that we could load up. Yeah, yeah this, the fish are moving towards us. I think they are. Hopefully those big girls are up on the bank. Every night we've been here in the morning, it's been like 36 degrees. Tonight, it's only going to get down to like... 46 so it's gonna stay warm they could push shallow it could be 100 inches at our spots tomorrow dude if we get 100 <laughs> inches tomorrow because that's what we need we could be yeah. in the top 10. <laughs> the people in top 10 are on them but you can't win one the first day top 10 you have to have about 90 inches 97 inches is winning right now which is crazy so we need 100 inch days tomorrow to have a shot for top 10. <laughs> But it can happen. You never, you never know. know. Catch uh, five twenty-four inches. That'd, That'd be it. sick. Yeah. That'd, That'd be, be a good like limit. Fifty pound bag at least. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> would be at Richard Russell next week. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways guys, we uh Sorry. we're gonna go grab some dinner, finish up our rigging process, wake up at four o'clock again tomorrow, hit the water for day two. We're gonna crush them tomorrow, I know it. Cross our fingers. Probably be sleeping with the drop shot in my hand and then wake me up. Pom poms will be out, boys. Pom poms, we'll see. Alrighty, guys, good morning. 
Day two, we're in 23rd right now. Not really in contention to win, but top 10 chance to walk on the classic stage is still still within reach you know that's a long reach but it's it's still there it's possible so we got to have a absolutely killer day today mid 90s for sure put ourselves in contention to get top 10 hey it could be our day that's the beauty of fishing anything can happen we're gonna put our head down for one more day of fishing here at richard b russell and try to get a solid bag and more importantly just have fun it's 6 42 three minutes till first cast i'm excited to get this day going and uh, finish up this tournament what an experience what a ride it's been getting here, but yeah, I'm ready. Let's go guys 645 Already seeing some pretty good marks on the graph Measure that one? I don't think we do. It's not 12. First fish of the day, at least. They're biting, they're shallow. All right, all right. First cove, no dice except that little dink. Next cove over, look at all these birds. I don't know what kind of birds those are, but I feel like every time I've gotten like a lot of bites, I've seen these guys in, in that particular area diving for bait. So maybe all the bait and all the fish have moved over here. There we go. Hey, little dude, little, little, little dude. Actually, looks like a keeper. Oh, Thirteen and a half. Get us started. See the bait right there. I'm getting munched on, but I think it's by like little tiny spots. Oh, there's a big, there's better ones right there. That was a better one. Holy smokes, that was a better one. Just a big one bust on. There is a big one back there, at least one. I don't care. Dude, it's like less than a foot deep back there. Alright, guys, here is our largemouth spot. Man, we need to start getting some good fish. Four fish out of here over the past few days and they've all been largemouth. Hoping that's the case today. Things are different though. I'm not sure what's going on. Bite seems a little off. Definitely not like yesterday and that's really not what we thought would be the case. We thought it'd be even better today. Kind of interesting. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
man. Little spot. I don't think that's 12. All right? Nope. Man. That's the first spot we've caught back here. Hmm. Keeper. Large mouth. Ah, oh, there's our large mouth. Or no. Yes, no. Yes, large mouth. Oh no, it's a spot. It's actually not a half bad spot, dude. That's a that's a lucky fish right there because it's long. Weighs probably next to nothing. But that's actually a really long spot. Dude, we got really lucky with this fish, I'm telling you right now. Just long. Well, that's what you need. You need long ones. Crazy how long this fish is. That was a gift. 16 and a half. It's probably not even two pounds. Well, the spot hasn't produced a largemouth for us yet, but a couple of spots. I'll take that. Pulled him out of the tree. That's number five. We're gonna net him because he's number five. Number five. I've pulled him out of the tree just like we did yesterday. We just kind of crawled this thing over the top. Well, there's a limit. A 14 incher. Number five. All right, now we need to do some serious upgrading. Like, serious upgrading. It's so cool though, crawling up through a tree. Like, the tree is just subsurface. It's maybe only a foot below the surface and you're just crawling this thing over the top of the limbs. It's just coming up over it and the fish just come out and get it. Oh, drew another one out of the tree, say. A little one. It's feisty. What are these, striper? Another little spot. Come on. Where are the big largemouth we were fantasizing about? Feels good. Oh, it's a giant! Oh my god, stay on, dude, stay on. Oh. Oh, come on, baby. I need you so bad. Yes! Oh my god. Thank you. That was the big pre-spawners we were talking about coming up. Oh. Oh, man, he's fatter than he is long, but we'll take him. That's the one we needed. Okay. That's a good call right there. No way. Oh my god. Uh, it's just a little one, but... Man. Might have found a little something. I don't know. Man, I am so thankful that fish didn't jump off. You know, I think one of the mistakes I've made in the past, and I still make it, but especially in tournaments when you get so excited with a big fish, you just want to get it in so fast, but... Just playing them. 
especially when you're throwing a crankbait, treble hook baits, lighter line, you gotta play them. You gotta let them surge, make their runs. I mean, you don't know how good they're hooked. If they're not hooked that well, or if they're just skin hooked, and they make a surge and you try to bring them in, they're just gonna pop off. And I've done that plenty of times. So really just trying to keep your cool and just let those fish do their thing before you bring them in. jig spot guys hoping to call a fish out here got a couple of 13 and a halfs and a 14 that gotta go but yesterday this is a spot where we broke off a good one and ended up sticking one on the jig too and it was a 15 and a half spot which at the time didn't help us but it would right now i know there's a bunch of little spots in here we can probably catch on the crankbait but this jig i think some of the bigger fish are just hanging out a little deeper on this on this wood the standing timber so hopefully we can fish this clean today Bummer, I thought this would be our cull spot for sure. All right, let's keep going. Time is ticking. All right guys, making a move across the lake. A little over two hours left to fish. It's probably gonna take us half an hour at least to cross, but new water. Gonna roll the dice, go to a totally different area, and just go fishing and see if we can score a couple of upgrades. It seems like it's tougher today. I don't know why. It doesn't really make sense based on the conditions and everything, but who knows? That's, that's fishing, that's bass fishing for you right there. So unpredictable. They don't do what they're supposed to. Other than that one good largemouth, I, I mean, that was, what we were hoping and i thought that was really going to happen in a lot of our areas but just didn't i just feel like i need to make a move i'm fishing too much of history from yesterday and i gotta just do something different that's my best chance do something different or at least try a different area so that's what we're doing Fish. Come here, dude. Yes! There's a call. Alright, the move paid off, at least for one call. It's a big spot, dude. Choke that crankbait. It's been a minute since we've had a bite. I feel so good. So good. Nice call right there, guys. Nice one. All right, buddy. There we go, another one. I don't know what the size is. It's another cold fish, I think. Ooh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Interesting. Two bites, though. Yeah, that was about the same cast as the one before. Come on. Got an hour and 15 to get rid of two fish. A lot easier said than done, but you never know. Big call, but it's a call. Nice, 15 and a half. Another two inches, that's huge, guys. And that really is a big deal. That really is a big deal. God. 
Got an hour to get rid of a 14 inch fish. Just catch like a 22. Nice little eight inch call, no big deal. As we're saying, I don't know. Yeah, nope. Yeah, we finally lost one, but it wouldn't have helped. Oh, there we go. I think that's got to be. Oh, never mind. Man, he hit hard. Felt like a call. He did feel like a call for a split second. Spots hit really hard here. Smart. Just cove jumping, bouncing from the ends of the coves. Definitely a pattern. All right. It's a decent little run right there. This could be where we're ending our day. Sizable back of a creek too. It's kind of got two little arms, so should be able to fish it thoroughly if we get a bite. Come on. That's a call. God, that's a good one. Yes, yes, woohoo, nice call. Man, Gee, maybe I should have been here more of the day. Gosh, not a huge call, but it is a call. I think we got a 16 and a half, maybe. Oh, just 16. Hey, I'll take a 16. It's another two inch call, dude. Heck yeah. Sweet. Look, what, look at it. Oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm gonna take it out. It's that blueback herring right there. Oh, I don't know why I did that. That's why they're eating this crankbait so good. They're used to chasing their, their meals. Oh man. Whoop, I got a fin on my graph. Wow, 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 good call. Man, now I gotta call a fish that I called with. I gotta call a 15 and a half. Man, that fish just must have been shallow. It is shallow over here. We just come up and got it. Come on. I think it, oh, it's another maybe good one. Maybe, oh, it's a spot, another spot. I don't think he's gonna help though. Oh, there's one with it. Oh, look at him, one with it. You can bite my bait too, I'll catch two of you. That ain't gonna do it. No. Negative. 245. Alrighty. Folks, 245. It's officially the end of the tournament. I am smoked right now. I am like five miles from the ramp. So we're gonna motor back, get loaded up one last time. So I will see you guys in a bit. I don't believe it, but I'm happy. Yeah, I wish you were there. Guys, um, just picked up some pizza and uh, me and Mike loaded up, got all of our stuff in the truck. Got a text from an unknown number that said, come to the hotel ASAP. And I was like, okay. Cause they said at the meeting that they're gonna text the top 10 to come to the hotel tonight. They're just announcing the top 10 and then tomorrow the top 10 go on stage. They're not saying the results until tomorrow when we go on stage. My mind's like, blown right now. I'm still confused and shocked and all sorts of emotions. So I said, is this bass? I texted back, is this bass? And they said, yes, you made the top 10. So I called just to confirm to make sure one was like joking with me. And it was John from Bass. He made the top 10, guys. Woo! Oh my God. Uh, so right now, trying to not crash. I'm gonna drop Mike off, get to this hotel as fast as I can. Yeah, guys, uh, we'll talk later tonight. What's up guys? How you doing? This is nice. Uh, that, that wasn't my first time going for a spot of bass. Uh, he's been awesome. What up? Gregory. 
What happened? Did you top ten? Top ten. Was there any chatter on like what happened? Just the bike sucked for a lot of people. A lot of people blanked. So you don't know what actual place you got? No, but I'm assuming it's tenth. <laughs> Whenever we looked at it, you were I think 153-ish. When they shut it off, you were 11th place. So right. then you you called and he never called. Yeah, when it was shut off, that's when I did all my calling. Oh. Okay. I called like three times in the last hour and a half, two yeah. hours. Uh, what'd you have there? Where are you? That's 56. Cool. That's one inch and a half over what I have for the whole tournament. You probably finished off 20. I hope so. Yeah. Dude, top 25 in this tournament is great. Yeah. You be proud of yourself. A lot of, uh, yeah. And I bought you two Cruise Lights. I bought you two Cruise Lights. <laughs> Santa. Santa Frost. Well, guys, I guess uh, we'll see you tomorrow at the Classic, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. How you guys doing? All good. Good, man. Uh, this is pretty good service here. We ain't the plane. <laughs> How'd you get back here? Well, I have to find my way, you know me. Yeah. I use my credentials. Oh, right on. <laughs> All right. Sir, take his camera, meet me over here at the, the steps that goes down. I gotta take it here for you. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. We're gonna get to be your top 10 in no specific order, and then we're gonna give you the leaderboard. Francis Craig. With 164 inches, come on up, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hey, 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 Greg
classic stage, of course, for the kayak division. And you guys saw it, day two, just one of those days where everything fell into place in the last hour and a half, two hours for me. I made three key calls. I made a big decision at about 12 o'clock to cross the lake, cover new water, and it paid off. We said at the beginning of day two that uh, the beauty of fishing is that anything can happen on any given day and you're never out of it. Magical day for me to squeeze in 10th place, get a chance to go on the Bassmaster Classic stage. And uh, yeah, huge yeah. shout out by the way to Bass for uh, allowing us kayak anglers to have this opportunity to actually, you know, showcase what we can do out on the water. And, and big thanks to a lot of folks that helped us along with this trip. I mean, I'm gonna thank you guys first of all for, you know, coming with me and Mike obviously competing, but Terrence coming with us. It was an awesome experience. Would have been a little bit awesome if I was up there with you. Buddy. I wish you were, buddy. <laughs> I made a solid show and we had a fun time. Awesome it was trip. Killer. I'll remember this. For life this was an awesome time this yes. was a good time a yeah. hell of an experience i think that's gonna wrap up the video we are about to go oh, get on a plane and head yeah. back to california and, and oroville's on there. the kayaks will arrive a couple days before you can get a couple two days of pre-fishing perfect um they'll be waiting at the brewery cool yep. guys thank you for watching this uh this series this week our adventures and yeah i think that's it we'll see you guys in the next video yeah.